gems, it's your girl Crystal TV, and I am back with some exciting news. I announced a few weeks ago on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me there because unfortunately I do post a picture first prior to making a video. Um, so to get things, I guess, quick and that happens more so closer to the date, make sure to follow me over on the gram. But anywho, if you are new here, make sure to like this video, subscribe, comment, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this exciting news on my career, y'all, because it is a big deal. Like, oh my goodness, your girl, passed her clinical licensure exam <laughs> and is now a licensed clinical social worker like y'all this is a big deal oh my like this is a big deal and i mean i know like you know you're like crystals are just like letters i don't really know what that means those acronyms mean nothing to me but like i'm gonna break it down so you understand just how much i fought and worked for this license okay um but anywho i literally have this guide here because i want to make sure that i am on track with just kind of what I'm saying in this video. This will be a two-part video. This video is going to just be me sharing the news and just sharing with you all about, yeah, just my excitement, what I plan to do with my license, and just kind of like, you know, the journey, you know, the journey to becoming a therapist. What does that look like for me? But anywho, um, this is gonna be the part one, and a part two will be about how I passed my clinical licensure exam, because that exam is, not gonna lie, it's quite tough, um, but <laughs> not tougher than me, okay. But no, it's quite tough, so I definitely do wanna share some tips for those who may be struggling. There's no shame in struggling to pass your exam. I actually failed one of my entry exams into grad school, yeah. So. The exam, whatever exam, literally, I think I'm traumatized. My brain repressed the name of the exam, but whatever exam you take to get into grad school, I bombed it, okay? I failed, and I'm proud and okay with saying that because your girl still went to grad school, still graduated with her master's degree, still got her LMSW, her licensed master social worker license, and then now has her LCSW, so we're here now, right? Um, anywho, let me go ahead and jump into what this LCSW means and how I worked my way up to it. So anyways, y'all, so all y'all know that I am a therapist. I have worked as a therapist for the past two years. And essentially, when I graduated from grad school, I was a master's in social work. So let me back up just a little bit more. I got my bachelor's of science in psychology. A lot of y'all know that I did change my major my junior year and switched over to psychology to pursue, um, you know, becoming a therapist. Um, I will have more on this video linked above, so make sure to click that if you want to watch the backstory of how I switched, you know, I guess paths or careers from med school to becoming a therapist. Um, but anywho, um, after getting that, I was kind of indecisive about whether I wanted to go to school for psychology or get a master's in counseling um, or what, right? Um, so at this time, I actually had failed the exam that you take to get into grad school, and that that basically bombed all of my chances of going to a doctoral program that I wanted to go to actually, not master's program. I wanted to go to a doctoral program um, in psychology, neuroscience, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I bombed the exam to even like get in the front door to like show that I'm even like worthy of like interviewing or seeing. But anywho, we're here now. Um, but yes, I bombed that. And then I was like, okay, well, let me just go to a master's program. So I started doing a lot of research on um, Christian, you know, based programs that I could go to. And that is when I came across, you know, the program that I went to being that my now husband lived um, and was going to school, that same school, I decided that, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and go to a program that's near him because I see a future, okay? Uh, we are married now, but I see a future and um, I decided to go ahead and learn about social work. I had never heard anything about social work besides CPS, you know, caseworkers, people will take your kids away. Like, that's literally all I heard about them. Like, it was pretty bad. Like, I never heard anything really good about them. So I was kind of confused when I learned about 
like the values of social work and like kind of like the 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 entirety of like what they focus on you know the bio psycho social spiritual emotional all of it social like we want hands on with all aspects of that person's life to bring the best care and practice right so i was like man i want to do that like i want to incorporate that justice side of it i want to incorporate that advocating side of it i want to represent for my people you know represent for um the underrepresented you know so to me and honestly everyone but you know i wanted to just fill in the gap where it was needed so i was like i'm going to do social work like i have a big heart for people so i want to do social work so i am getting my master's in social work the program is about two years long it's quite interesting quite rough i have some videos on that as well if you want to go watch um and then i graduate so after you graduate you have to take an exam you know why after your two years you take an exam to become a licensed master social worker so you're you have a master's degree but now you need a license to you know to practice and kind of back you up there so i did that exam passed that praise god the first time and then got my first job as a therapist child and family therapist uh love that job ended up quitting i also have a video on that as well i will link it so you guys can watch um i was burnt out it was just not a good position for me any longer and i had to respectfully leave that job so after that, um, I worked for two long years um, as a therapist, um, had to accomplish 3,000 hours of direct clinical practice, be in a clinical placement for two years, and also acquire 100 hours of supervision. So I had to make sure all this was done and good before I could even sit, before my butt could even touch the chair of my examination for my LCSW. And basically um the reason why i want the lcsw was because the lcsw to me is like basically the highest level for the social worker if they want to climb that high to lcsw they can in the line of licensure not like doctoral you know d different fields and like licenses but like in the line of social worker it's social worker msw lmsw lcsw and that is the last license in that line right so to me yes it's the last one i want to make sure i knock it out and i've always heard about how lcsws have so much more freedom they have so much more you know um ownership over their work they can go into private practice they can basically be their own boss which i'm like <laughs> sign me up because that i'm really good at being you know self-driven and managing my own stuff so it's not for everyone obviously but i definitely feel like i can be my own boss and i could thrive um so yes oh they also make more money all right cha -ching. that matters too um they make more money um so to me i was like honestly like why not you know i see myself you know in the future being a mother who stays at home well not stays at home but works from home with the kids um and also can do virtual therapy at home on my own hours at my own time at my own disposal um while the kids are like with the babysitter or with the nanny you know what i mean like i can work from home and like just that beautiful balance and that flexibility is really what I desired and wanted out of like my line as a therapist so I pursued it and I got it y'all so literally I've been dragging my feet these past two years and just like dreading this journey because like it was so long it just felt like it was gonna go on forever but we're here now and I literally almost gave up but I was like girl no you need to keep going like you need to finish this you're almost there and now I'm finally there so it is incredible I am thrilled to say the least I am relieved to say the most and I'm just glad that I'm in this position to share and to encourage whomever, whomever is watching this video um, that they can do what they set their mind to, that they can accomplish what they want to accomplish, that their dreams can become a reality. That you don't have to feel like it's so far out of reach, it's so far out of touch that what you desire can become what you have by working hard by not giving up by pushing past the trials by pressing into the pain and the hardship that comes with it and just continuing to fight for what you want i wanted to encourage you that this is possible for you because i feel like a lot of times we we doubt ourselves we doubt our capacity but honestly like 
the way that my God is set up, hmm, let me tell you, okay? He will make things happen, especially when you surrender them to him and when you are following him and following in obedience to him. So that's basically, you know, kind of a bit of what I wanted to share. Um, I'm really excited and definitely being a private practitioner as a therapist will give me the flexibility to create content and to also schedule clients as I need to and just different things like that. So I'm really excited for that journey and yeah guys it's just a blessing it's just a blessing y'all because this this literally was all a dream like i never like not i never imagined it but like it felt so far out of reach so far out of touch to me so i'm glad that we're finally here and i have it and i passed the exam and i am super grateful um like i said i will have a part two of this video if you are interested in learning how i passed with the tips um, for how I passed, uh, make sure to watch that video. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching. Comment below if you have any thoughts on this video. Um, share if you've ever thought about, you know, going into social work or whatever else. And also, I got this lovely crew neck sent to me by uh, Be The Social Worker. It is literally so cute. Um, so make sure to check them out. I will link their merch in my um, description. So make sure to check that out as well. Um, but anywho, I will talk to you guys later and yeah, peace out.